Hey folks, welcome back to the Cotswold Collectibles YouTube channel. I am uh, Greg Brown, the uh, president of Cotswold Collectibles. Uh, we've been gone for about a couple of weeks. Um, we've been doing some shows. We just wrapped up the Kentuckiana G.I. Joe Toy Expo last Saturday in Louisville, Kentucky. Had a blast. Got to see a lot of you guys out there, guys and gals, and uh, just had a really good time. Um, at the show, we debuted this set, which is the, um, the Super Joe Unlimited Arctic Danger set. Just to clarify, because there has been some confusion out there, Super Joe Unlimited is a new line of figures that will be coming out that is scaled in the same scale as the original 1970s Super Joe figure. Um, it is a co-partnership with two uh, friends of mine that, uh, um, that I've known for some time. And uh, we're going to be working with them closely in the coming months um, uh, to help them to get their product released. But we had their blessing to use their, their logo on this set, which is a 1-6 scale figure. So please make sure that you differentiate. This is a 1-6 scale figure. What they are going to be selling are Super Joe scaled figures, a little bit bigger than Amigo, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. They're going to be awesome sets. Uh, they've already started previewing some of them. Um, check out Super Joe Unlimited's website and their Facebook page for more details. That being said, uh, we wanted to go ahead and discuss the Arctic Danger set. Um, this was a cooperative effort um, between Cotswold Collectibles, uh, Grunga Toys out of Brazil, and uh, Sean Huckster, um, who many of you know has been our 3D printing guru uh, for many years. Um, the packaging for this set is, uh, again, very reminiscent of the late 1970s Super Joe style packaging. Um, the artwork has been done by David Howard, who does almost all of our artwork for us. And it um, just has that whole 1970s vibe, you know, kind of the groovy vibe to it. Um, very good packaging. The set itself includes a figure, which is one of our Elite Brigade figures with a Jake head with flocked black hair to pay homage to the Super Joe, uh, just Super Joe. I know the commander obviously comes with a beard. Um, the bodysuit you might recognize as kind of like a hybrid. I think it was, I think this was originally started by Loco Porbonocos. Um, that had the kind of like the chest flap and such like that. So we wanted to carry over that concept design by them, but add a few other elements. Um, we wanted it to be a white suit. Um, we gave them the white belt, and then we gave them the white hood with the white fur. And this will fit over the figure's head. I just don't, I just have it pulled down. Um, but this suit is made by Grunga Toys, as are the boots, which some of you may already own some of these boots. Um, this particular set, um, we include the regular hands, but if you want to, we also include the quote-unquote gloved white hands that you can put with it so it keeps with that winter theme. Um, the other key pieces with this set are is the, it's the alien monster, or alien dragon, whatever you want to call it, uh, ice dragon. You, you know, you can use your imagination what you want to do with it, but it's a really unique piece. It has that, that cool color blue to it, and, and the eyes are really, the eyes have kind of an insect-like vibe to them. Um, also included with the set is the Grunga Toys mask. This is the, uh, the Baron Iron Blood mask, but done in white. And what we did is we added the, the blue visor. It's like an ice blue visor that was 3D printed by Sean Huckster. And again, it, once you put it with the set, it carries on that, that theme of the white and the blue. Also included from Sean Huckster is his very famous and very popular wrist communicator that we did in a darker blue that goes on to the one of his wrists. Then we include um, an Action Man style Space Ranger rifle that are made by Masquatch Customs. Um, the, the image, the artwork shows this particular rifle, um, but each set will vary differently based upon the availability that we had of rifles. Each, each set will have a Action Man style Space Ranger weapon that is made by Masquatch Customs, but it may not be exactly like this. But if you're like me, all of the Space Ranger weapons that was made by Action Man are pretty darn cool. And of course, some of you may recognize this. We introduced this years ago. It's kind of like a um, communications pack, futuristic, such like that. Again, this is manufactured by Sean Huckster. Um, it has the 3D printed chest harness, this time done in blue. Um, you see the blue themes. That's why we carried it over to the rest communicator. In the past, when this set was made, um, it just basically, you would just open it up and it would hold whatever gear that you wanted to put into it. But we wanted to change this one up. So we've included this winter drone. And according to the storyline that we've been kind of playing around with, the Super Joe is trying to find this alien and he's tracking him with this drone because he's in the Arctic tundra. So you have the drone that comes with the set, but then what's really cool is are the antennae 
that are that are actually packed inside of here. So what you do is you take them out when they're, you know, and there are two different slots here. So you have this one for this one and this one for this one. So if you're going to display this figure, it'll be really great. You can store it just like that, put them on his back and, you know, totally fulfill the whole thing. But if you are transporting this, taking this from one place to another, showing it at, showing at a meeting or such, it's always good to keep these antennae placed in here like that. And as some of you may be wondering, where did we get this metal case? Um, these are cases that we actually got at Lowe's. Um, they were, uh, they're supposed to be of a toolbox and they are, are supposed to be used for giving a gift card and such like that. So we basically bought out every one of them. Not every one of them are perfect. Some of them have little blemishes here and there, but it kind of gives to the added effect of, you know, this, this guy's um, kind of been out in the tundra and such like that. But this is the second in our series. Uh, we call it, um, I think we call the series Cosmic Force. Like I said, we got the permission from the guys over at Super Joe Unlimited to use their logo. And we plan to uh, release some more sets coming out. Um, namely, uh, we did an A Store a few years ago. We're going to be doing an A Store 2.0, and then we're also going to be releasing some smaller uh, laser cannons, laser blasters, such like that. So uh, hopefully, um, show your support for this set. Uh, we had 20 sets made. Uh, we've already pre-sold four of them. We, we, we brought them to the Louisville show, sold all four of them there. So we have 16 more sets to go. And if you show your support and these things sell really good, then we'll reinvest that money into, into more sets. But that being said, I uh, hope to see you next week. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos this summer. Um, and to make sure that you uh, like and subscribe below. And if you have any comments, be sure to leave them. Uh, until then, see you next week.